there are four steps to making goals that, that you should consider when you're making goals for yourself. One step would be that they need to be attainable. A good example of attainable goal is that I need to get a B on my next test. A bad example would be that I need to grow six inches by next week because you don't have control over something like that. <laughs> um, a step, the second step would be to have a realistic time frame. So that when you're setting a goal for yourself, you would want to say something like, I need to write my 10-page paper by next week. Whereas a bad example would be, I need to write my 10-page paper by noon today. Step three would be um, to be specific. You, a good example of a specific goal would, that, would be that I need 3.0 in this class this quarter. Whereas a bad example would be like, I need just to raise my grades. And step four would be that a goal needs to be something that you want for you. Uh, a bad example of this would be that, well, I'm going to try and get in the major that my parents have always wanted for me, but I don't really care for. Whereas a good example of a goal that you want would be, I want the major that I've been working for and I'm going to get into it this quarter. There are three different types of goals. One is the short range goal, finishing my paper by Sunday night. Two is the mid range goal. This would be getting at least a 3.0 this quarter. Three would be a long range goal, which would be something like graduating in four years. Periodically, it's a good idea to examine and reevaluate your goals to make sure that they fit and are what you want. Goals are valuable tools, even if the results are not what they had intended. Goals help you to identify what you want and how to go after it, which is beneficial to yourself. If you would like more information about City Skills or would like to talk to a City Skills tutor, please call, visit, or email the Tutoring Center.